Last Chance to See by Douglas Adams and Mark Cawardine. Last Chance to See documents the travels of Douglas Adams and Mark Cawardine on their search for some of the rarest and most endangered animals on Earth. This two CD set contains the entire text of Adams and Cawardine's book, which Douglas Adams reads to you as you look at the photographs. The eye eye is a nocturnal lemur. It's a very strange looking creature that seems to have been assembled from bits of other animals. It looks a little like a large cat. There is a special data card for each endangered species, giving facts about that animal, as well as narrations by Cawardine and other experts. Well, there are three different kinds of gorilla. There's the mountain gorilla, the western lowland, and the eastern lowland. The mountain gorilla is by far the rarest of the lot, only a population of about 350, and it's restricted in two... His eyes followed as my hand squiggled across the paper, and after a while he reached out and touched first the paper and then the top of my ballpoint pen, not to take it away from me or even to interrupt me, just to see what it was like and what it felt like. Other sidebars include audio recordings made in the field. Let's listen to the hippos. <laughs> More than 700 color photographs reveal the magnificent lands to which they traveled and the endangered species that they visited, such as the Yangtze River Dolphin, the Komodo Dragon, the Mauritius Kestrel, and the Northern White Rhino. Adam's entertaining narration adds context to the photographs as well as thoughtfulness and a sense of humor. The Komodo lizards are also big, very big. There's one on Komodo at the moment which is over 12 feet long and stands about a yard high, which you can't help but feel is entirely the wrong size for a lizard to be, particularly if it's a man-eater and you are about to go and share an island with it. The Find Pictures function shows thumbnails of all the photographs in the current chapter. Using the Bookmarks function, you can create custom collections of your favorite passages and images and save them to your hard drive for later reference. There's one last reason for caring, and I believe that no other is necessary. It's certainly the reason why so many people have devoted their lives to protecting the likes of rhinos, parakeets, kakapos and dolphins. And it's simply this. The world would be a poorer, darker, lonelier place without them. With any luck, this might not be your last chance to see these animals, but Douglas Adams and Mark Cawardine certainly make it worth taking a closer look.